Hey, my powerful Leos, welcome to Swift Intuitions. I wanna say I really appreciate your likes and subscribes. And family, just know, we blessed. Okay, anyway, this is the energy for uh, the month of February. Uh, let's see what you have coming in from my powerful Leos. Messages of clarity and truth. All right, Leo's right now, I do see the Dove card. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. I feel that right now there's an ending to uh, to a situation, something that at one point in time you could have felt that it was gonna be stable. This could be a relationship, could be a job. Um, but I'm feeling more of a relationship that has ended. It, this could have been a cycle that you, uh, like it, it ends and then and you'll try to revamp it or try to work it out and i feel like uh in february there's gonna be a, a massive ending to the situation it feels like the end of a, of a cycle that continued to go on too long i feel like there is new beginnings coming in for some of you guys there is a um there could be a, a could be a separation if you were with the baby's mom uh or the mother of your children i feel that uh for some of you guys uh leah you could have found out that somebody could have miscarried uh, a child and um and for and for the next for for a lot of you leos i feel that this ending whatever has taken place that has ended i feel like it 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 it, it opened up a new beginning for you to start a new i feel like whatever ended um made it possible for you to transform into something bigger and for you to expand i see february there's a lot of expansion meaning there is uh it could be um I feel like you're acquiring something. You're acquiring more wealth. You're acquiring more more views. You're acquiring more um, customers, whatever it is. And for some of you guys, uh, you could also, in, in the month of uh, Leo, you're very potent. So if you're not trying to have children, uh, you might want to keep it in your pants. And um, I see right here with the with the King of Swords, there's, a, there's an energy of cutting off communication. In February, I feel like it's certain things and people that you're no longer really associating yourself with, Leo. Uh, I feel like for some of you guys, you could uh, be cutting off communication with, like I say, the mother of your children, mother of your, I mean, the father of your children. There's an the energy of, um, I see like restraint. I do see here, somebody could be very much pregnant. Uh, and maybe, maybe like somebody doesn't feel like it could be theirs. Messages of clarity too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, somebody from your past want to reconcile with this three of cups, but it's like a unsurety if you're gonna if you're gonna want to reconcile with them in the past. I do believe if you do reconcile with somebody, uh, this individual could be wanting to have children by you if you don't already have it have children. I see with this Ace of Cups, somebody wants to offer you love. This could be from somebody that's very, very nurturing, loving, uh, caring. Let's come in. Yeah, it, it looks like a cycle that's going to be continued or that could be continued. It's like one person wants to come back in and try again, but I feel like this is a situation that has, um, You've tried before, Leo, and I feel like somebody that you held dear to your heart is going to want to try to work on the situation again, but I feel you're holding back from this. It's like an energy of wanting to move forward from the old cycle of break up to make up, that's all you do. But yeah, I see messages coming in. Oh. Yep, you got a message coming in from somebody that, that hasn't, you haven't been talking to because the situation ended. You're emotionally letting this go, Leo, moving into February. But I feel like it's gonna somebody's going to try one more time to see if they can get back with you, if they could start a cycle again. Yeah, this somebody really does. Yeah, somebody is, is really going to... Um, try to persuade you that you guys could have a, a, a positive, loyal uh, future in, in, in the past. But it's like one person is emotionally uh, like 
not wanting a connection and you have somebody else that is very much adamant on trying again like you want to try again for the kids here what is the empress what is the empress here okay so i feel like for some of you guys this could be somebody you found out that was pregnant but like you feel like the child may not be be yours because somebody could have ha uh, could have been talking to other people, and and this is another reason why a lot of this energy is you know ready to be cut off. It's like, and I feel like somebody is manifesting, trying to manifest a reconnect. This feels like somebody could have been doing love spells too to try to get y'all back together. Uh, and it, it wasn't working, so now it's kind of like, I don't, like, somebody doesn't know what to do. They feel like this is a connection, and they are stuck in their in their mind on how to be successful with you, Leo, in bringing this connection back. And I feel like, Leo, you like, I don't want this connection. And somebody trying to do everything in their power to reconcile with you. Yeah, because this is cut. This this seems like a um, I, I have the the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords, so this could be a divine partnership. Um, where kids are involved, but it's like one one party is refu is really not wanting to bring this back, and another one is, uh, but they just don't know how to go about doing it. Ooh, so February look like you may got a little drama on your hands, Leo. Leo said, no, I don't. Well, I know you got somebody that's very persistent and they're about to uh, come and try to offer you something, but I don't feel like you're going to, you're going to want to take the offer because it's, it's like, that's, it's not enough. All right, Leo, that's what I got for you for February. <laughs>